miserable night out there. Nice night for reading. So one of my vintage automotive books, guys. Uh, enjoy reading. I enjoy uh, seeing the evolution of the automobile. Uh, I don't think I've ever came across this particular um, feature before in an ignition system. This is a, an ignition coil. Um, the primary and secondary coils are drawn in, a, drawn in a wee bit of an unconventional manner here, but that's what we're looking at. Uh, this is the battery feed, um, and the primary coil is going off to the switching contacts here. Uh, these two contacts would go off to the points proper the condenser shown within the, the housing of the coil assembly itself. What caught my interest was this here uh, on the side of the coil. They have what's called a safety gap. Um, so the uh, this point D here is for where the high tension lead would go off to the distributor, so the secondary, and uh, there's a tang here when the unit is installed in the vehicle. I assume that this actually grounds the secondary here at some point on the engine block or the chassis or whatever the case may be for the installation. So it's very cleverly done, and what's this actually for? In the event there's a failure in the secondary, the, the wire itself actually open circuits or there's a failure in the distributor, the, 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 uh, the rotor, the cap itself. Something fails in the secondary end of things which, which prevents the spark from actually happening. Instead of actually roasting the coil here and destroying the insulation on the secondary and destroying the coil, the spark would actually happen across the safety gap here. Again, the whole point to the safety gap to save the coil assembly in the event there's a failure on the secondary distribution end of things. Very clever indeed. This particular book is from uh, 1928. Very clever indeed.